British faith. Incidentally, she becomes the youngest burgess of the city of Edinburgh. An impressive fly past was included in the military ceremonies marking this year's Bastille Day celebrations in Paris. The Champs-Élysées, which has witnessed so many historic parades in the past few years, now saw a representative display of France's reviving military preparedness. In addition, there was another important point. Not since 1939 had there been a president to hold a Bastille Day review. Monsieur Oriol was there, and among other distinguished guests, Mr. Bevin. Our Foreign Secretary, of course, was in Paris for the 16-nation economic conference, on which so much depends. Dancing and general jollification was quite the order throughout the city in the evening. The question 